All right, today we're going to play uh, Zach Allen from Turn One Thoughtsies. We're going to start off with his Jeskai deck. Uh, Ari Lax wrote about it on SCG Premium this week and said that it's it's a deck that just kind of wants to jam. <clears throat> like you kind of want to control the game early, you know, kind of kind of fight your way through, and then you just want to. Man, my mic has been weird lately. And then you just kind of want to go, you know, Crackling Drake into Teferi into Niv. <clears throat> so <clears throat> it's it's just kind of a, a Jeskai deck that beats over the top. And I talked to him a little bit. He gave me some tips about how I should build it moving forward. Add another Star of Extinction. <clears throat> Cut the uh, Cellar Rack from the main deck and just have two of these. Just try to go over the Black Green decks. So... Let's jump in a league. And then after this, we're going to play a League of Drakes. And depending on how I feel, we might battle rage some people. I can show people what I'm thankful for. <clears throat> um, I'll relax, just guy right here. Audio is very muffled and quiet. That's odd. That should be better. I just added five decibels, so that should do okay. Like if I'm afraid that I'm gonna blow people's ears out if if I don't if I add many more decibels than that. I just don't want to. It probably could be a little higher. Okay. We'll give it like two more decibels. All right. There. There we go. So I like how this deck is kind of plays a. It plays like a pretty good early game interact. It's got like these five removal spells and the Clarions. And. Oh, modern scene is. Modern is kind of, like, very degenerate at the moment, Gary. Like, it's pretty linear. I would argue that Modern is is kind of gross right now. Standard is amazing, Gary. Like, Standard is... Like, I remember when you were last here, and, like, it was Bant Company and, like, Green White Tokens... I think standard is like better than it was then. Like there's five legitimate decks in the format that all move around of each other. Like I think st I think standard is awesome. <clears throat> like I, I've had a I've had a lot of fun playing standard, and most of the time, like I, as you know, I play a lot of modern. But playing standard would be too costly, I think, still. Yeah, standard's expensive. Like the two, um, like the two, like Teferi's a big hurdle. Teferi's like fifty bucks a pop. Um, the ArcLight Phoenixes, which the ArcLight Phoenix is a very good deck, <clears throat> but the ArcLight Phoenixes are expensive on their own. And uh, we're going to keep this hand. We're on the draw. Hand's pretty solid against an aggro deck. Yeah, I would play an arena. Get, like, arena is an actual good program that is going to let you figure out what you want to do. Search is a sick draw. <clears throat> I love Search for Kanta. So we're probably playing against Drakes. Oh, Radical Idea. Okay. That's an odd thing to main phase. You don't even make me think about something else. So we need a land drop. Really bad. So they ditched the Phoenix. They found a land. Uh, always yield. Put that in the graveyard. Tilt. 
<clears throat> I always think these decks are a little bit aggressive playing just 25 lands. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can do it. You can get into it, but then you got to, like, work with the paper game as well and your cash. Okay, so they're playing the aggressive version, which is going to make this a little more difficult. No, card order doesn't do, yeah, card order just doesn't do the, uh, the, um, they just don't do loaner programs. They thought about it. A little big brain move from our opponent. No. All right, I'm just, I think I'm just going to, mm, I kind of just want to be mana efficient and deal with this so that I can do like maybe this and something else. Well, I guess we can just wait. Though the Justice Strike kills like a Crackling Drake. Try and get a Mana Trader sponsorship. They have a, they have a very high um, bar for sponsoring. So this makes me think they don't have a dive down, because if they had dive down, they would be coming in hot. Land, we need to get our crack. Oh, it still doesn't get me crackling Drake, but it lets me uh, Chemistry's Insight. So now my opponent should attack. They should jam into my Chemistry's Insight here. Yeah, my opponent knows what's going on. We have, a, we have ourselves a solid Magic the Gathering player here. Whoa, is that a main deck Niv? That's not good. That thing's going to kill me. No, we're going to need our own Niv to keep up with that thing, so. <clears throat> Them having their own is interesting. In the main deck, too. And it's like the low to the ground version. Yeah, we're about to get the break speed off of us here. Because all their cantrips are just draw twos. They ping me. <clears throat> I just I can't take three damage forever here. They might shock it in response. Yeah. That's not even, that's so good for them though. Because they just shock and then they still draw a card so they're not down a card. I'm not going to opt. I guess I should wait. Uh, you, I should give myself, maybe I should opt. I probably have to opt. Like I need to hit a land. Because if I hit a land, then I can play double clarion. So main deck Niv is going to body me. Okay, so we hit a land. And we can go double clarion, which is kind of a rough way to do this. I'm going to put that in my graveyard. I can play Teferi and hope my opponent doesn't have a dive down. I think that's a better deal, honestly, than double clarion. Like, I'm not going to win if I double clarion on this thing. Like, they're going to draw two cards off of that. Like, I'm going to get whatever, three for one. And, like, they theoretically could find this Niv again. All right, we're not going to find it this turn. I need to get get on the board myself, and I've got a crackling drake to do that at least. They got their own arclight phoenix. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to like 
get lucky. Like we need to get a we need to get a threat down on the board prior to this Niv coming back. And probably the best way to do it is to find a red lane and jam our own Niv. Yeah, we don't want that. Nice. And now we're just going to be the first one to land this. <clears throat> so this is Enigma Drake plus Max My Velocity. I'm not going to feel great. Oh, it's a Beacon Bolt. Shoot that. No, it's not. No Field of Ruins anywhere. Don't go land Niv. Because if we can go, like, Deafening Clarion. Yeah, but I don't think you can play it and play this. So they have an Arclight Phoenix in their graveyard now. That's two spells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I probably have to go... Crackling Drake... Plus Deafening Clarion. Red, white, one. And then hope to just deal with the Niv next turn. Oh, I don't think we need another one of those. We just try to tuck the Niv. Oh, they are going to flash back their Beacon Bolt. Oh, that's a Lava Coil. Okay. What launch humans in modern? Um, Unclaimed Territory and Kite Sail Freebooter did. One, two, three, four, five. We have to tuck Niv. At least I think we do. And then I'm going to try to hit a land drop. It's not a land drop, but if we put that on top, at least that's another body. I'm going to put this on top. They just hope they can't return these phoenixes. If we hit a red source, we can go double Crackling Drake, which would be nice. Oh, is this another Niv or is this a Rao? It's Rao. All right, well, that's good. So they just drew Niv, I think. Uh, yes, no. All right, we're going to cast that. So, I can play double Drake. Because if I play double Drake, then my Deafening Clarion next turn is going to do a lot of work. I think that's probably the best way for me to get back into it. At least going to play one. I just have to trade off. I don't really want to trade my Drake. So I think I'm actually just going to go like this. And I can activate search as well. Now we just have to pray that we don't hit anything. I mean, just Beacon Bolt Rao. Beacon Bolt Rao, I mean. Yeah, I mean, we're in a lot of trouble, Harry. Like, like we are we are on the struggle bus. My opponent's got, like, a bigger version of this deck.
There's Nev. Oh, I should have flashed back Chemistry's Insight, probably. Opt. That's cool. <clears throat> I thought we were all set with this game, but then they then they got like the big version going on. Shock kills me. They have three phoenixes in the graveyard, so like that kills me too. Because then they just flash it back, so we're dead. But we have a feud going on in the chat. Definitely a big version of the deck. Would have been nice to be able to figure it out to navigate to a win there, but alright. So we want binding. I think we want our creature. We want at least Lyra. I don't really think we want anything else. Maybe the seal away. Cards I'm not really interested in. Deafening Clarion is not good. But I think the rest of it's okay. Counter spells aren't great. Expansion explosion is probably decent if we're liberal with it. So we can counter we can use their spells. My counter spells probably aren't great. Ionize is probably better than negate, because the only thing that's really worth countering is like Ral and whatever Drake it is. The one of the Drakes. Like negate's probably not that good. Now that I think about it, I'm not really sure I want the other negate either. Maybe sabotage is just better. Nah. I think we're gonna leave it in. Dude, that's life. Life comes before tournaments, unfortunately. I'll put these on before my eyes strain. Okay. I would like to play first. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. We have a opt to help find dig us to what we're looking for. I kind of want to shock on one because then it makes like search for his canta a pretty live draw, but that's probably too greedy. We have two nibs, but binding is really good. Nibs really good. We just have to get there. So we're gonna get there. Turn on a yield until next end step. So are you wearing Walmart brand nice? No. Uh, appreciate the follow there, Book Fair. I think we're going to hit this. Nah, we're not going to hit this. Because we want to be able to hit a Drake next turn. I guess we had a, we really want to Exxon's finding a Niv. We're going to hit this because it's a two for one. Then knock the top of our deck. Hope there's a land. There isn't. I want to put one more land in all these. All these Jeskai control decks, I just want one more land. Or like a third search because I can never feel like I can smooth my way out. Okay. All right, we're just going to jam this Lyra. Hope this works out for us. It's going to take at least two cards to get rid of it. No, my, so my wife works for a uh, 
Eyeglassware Trade Association, Trade Association, and she gets a lot of free sunglasses. And these are some of those free sunglasses. They're 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 computer glasses. They're from like Gunner Optics, I think. Yeah. They're really nice. I have some for work too, which means if I spend a lot of day like looking at the screen, my eyes don't hurt. First strike. Not blocking. Hopefully they can't get enough. Beacon Bolt's still not lethal, and they play to land, I think. They played Steam Ben. No, they played Second Fire Lily Cast. Yeah, I'm not gonna block this thing. I don't want to trade my Lyra for this when I have so much removal. Okay, Charter Course is good for the home team. So I can attack and jam Niv, but I think that's a little loose when I could just seal away this, play this tapped. I have another seal away and just like keep my Baneslayer Angel going on. Maybe it's right just to play the Niv there. But I do like dealing with a threat and getting a 10-point life swing. All right. My, my beacon has been bolted. I'm just going to run my nib out there because I have two. I'm not blocking this. Oh, is this a row? Oh, that's sick. That is really nice. God, I did not play around Ral. Ral's a good answer to Niv. Yeah, did not think about it. Now we have to worry about this beacon bolt. Ugh. Yeah, I did. All right, well, drawing another one of those is good. I'm just going to deal with this now. They have a dive down. They have a dive down. You found a favorite nib deck yet? I have not. I have not. Now I'm kind of priced into binding this. We're just getting absolutely bodied here. This row is just going to beat the crap out of me. Because I know as soon as I bring this, I deal with this, they're going to have a, they're obviously going to eventually have a very good turn here. This. I'm going to play some Drake's next, next match, next league. For sure. Thank you for the bits there, Jay Huey. I appreciate it. I feel like my opponent's not playing Electromancer. We haven't seen an Electromancer in either game. And they have, like, 
the lava coils and arc light phoenixes. Are we still playing if we go 03? Likely not, we'll just move into the next deck. Spyglass, okay. It's just like more cards we can't beat. Like we have to draw a binding to beat that. We really don't want a binding this thing. Is there a bane by me? No, we'll play their own Niv. All right, I yield. Man, that was a whooping. But I think that these decks are supposed to be pretty solid against these decks. Especially my opponent's built there is weird. But my opponent's not, I want to say they're not playing Electromancer. But they're going bigger with like Niv and Rao. So I wonder what their build looks like. Right on time to gate. <sighs> I keep struggling with this deck here. I, I really think that you should not be playing... Like, I think that they took a cool way of, like... I think that Electromancer is, like, just actually the worst card in these decks. Because, like, Electromancer... I mean, I don't, I don't know, like... I keep getting to points where my Electromancer dies and my hand is just this huge clunk fest and I can't get under the, like, Niv decks, or even the Black Green decks. And I think that moving away from... Moving away from the... Uh, moving away... Like, like I, I think the deck's just better without Electromancer, the more I play. But everybody keeps playing Electromancer, so I don't know. I don't know. It confuses me. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, this game's pretty solid. It's real nice in the play. Because our negate's likely going to be pretty solid. Like, our, this negate can even hit, like, a history of Benalia after we play Search for Escanto, which is nice. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're playing against Black Green. I also just think that the uh, the the Niv decks are just or the whatever they are decks are just actually good against um, a Phoenix is just good against the control decks. Um, we're gonna put this on graveyard. That's not bad. Pumps are. Uh, pumps our Drake, lets us like negate plus do something. Even though I really doubt they're gonna give us anything to negate this turn. Wow, if they have another threat here, it's pretty nice. Alright, Lanor Elf. Lanor Elf makes me a little worried. Because they can like potentially get us with um with Vivian next turn. Vivian's a pretty big problem. Yeah, I think we're just going to sit back. Counterspell something. 
I'd like to be able to just play Crackling Drake with Negate because I just don't want to get Vivian. Wouldn't mind countering a Doom Whisperer here. Nice. One, one. A Deafening Clarion would be nice because we could go like Clarion on this away and negate like a, a Vivian. I think we're going to ditch that. All right, Justice Strike is okay. Question is, do I justice strike this land or elves to buy me a turn from getting Carnage Tyranted? I think so. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think they're so off from getting that Doom Whisperer back that I would like to just slow them down. Next turn I can go Crackling Drake and Negate. My search is gonna flip. I, just, I don't really want to get I'm not really ready to get Carnitine. And they're kind of incentivized to play um, a Vivian to hit this search. So I can put this search, it's going to be able to do some work for me. Nice. We know they still have Overgrown Tomb in their hand. Yes. Uh, red, no, let's go. Red, red, blue, blue. Always yield. Our, our spells are lining up pretty well here. And there's a Niv too. So we're still kind of struggling to Carnage Tyrant, but we are kind of putting up a, putting up a battlefield. They play their... No, tubes, okay. Tubes is annoying. They still have Overgrown Tomb. They find back, okay. Find is really solid. One, two, three. Okay, so we're... I'm actually just gonna play Niv because there's a chance we can sweep everything up next turn. Um, with the Niv plus draw step plus Deafening Clarion. If we just need to draw one, we need to draw a spell and then we can get their entire board. So we hope they just slam their Doom Whisperer because they got back Doom Whisperer and Lanor Elves. Another Vivian here would be Basically, game over. Okay. That's all right. There's the Overgrown Tomb. There's the Elf. So we're going to ping this Doom Whisperer. We just need to hit a spell. Oh, I'm just going to block this because it's going to die anyways. Next turn, this is an unfortunate point we're in. Okay, red, white, one. Okay, nice. Uh, we could hit an opt, I guess. They didn't surveil. Oh, yeah, that was a tough hit for the home team. But at least we're going to be untapping with a lot of lands. A lot of life and it is Kanta. It's like they can't even really carnage time on me.
Yeah. Yeah, you get the troop back. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four. So I'm lucky I got his Cantex because I can hit it to Fairy. That's also pretty solid. Now, because I already hit my card I want. I just want some action. Nice. That's okay, actually. I think we're just going to wait. Maybe ditch this seal away. Probably not, though. Though we might not want to cast his insight because we already have enough lands. Like we're definitely not in the need. We we need specific cards, not like like we need to fairy. We don't need anything else. Some more search. Gates a nice hit. So now we're just digging for like to fairy. Alright, iron eyes will do as well. I'll just pitch my search to this chemistry's insight. Then we got him next turn. They are going to get back the Doom Daddy. We can counter the Doom Daddy. And it nugs them. This game was all Niv, too. Like, we were treading water and then hit the Niv and just wrath their board. So I think that he, Zach just has four cards that he wants to bring in here. Like, he wants Nova and Stars. I think the cards that aren't good are Seal Away. I kind of want another expansion, just to be able to copy Deafening Clarion. I don't really like any of my counter spells, especially on the draw. Niv might just be might be good, not great, because I don't have dive down to protect from the choops and the uh, the other ones, the choops and the Vivians. Yeah, I just played it. What what is what has been kind of cool then is it makes it so it's made it so people can't bane fire me out of games, and it's like if you can curve this into this, it gets lifelink, which is kind of cool. That's just like a very minor thing that I've seen. I think my ionizers are pretty bad on the draw. We're bringing in so many answers to their creatures. I just want to hit planeswalkers and like find finalities. I'm gonna try this one. We grab a beer. I'll be right back. All right, we're going to keep this. Our mana is slower than frozen ketchup, but it's the life we live. <clears throat> All right. It's no longer slow. We're going to lead off on that. We can show a little weakness. What time is it over where you are tonight, Ben? Now I'm just going to smoke this thing right now, even though we have a clarion. I think he's going to get out of Clarion range, and then we're just going to be behind the 8-ball. Oh, I've got the uh, Invitational in three weeks, and I need help in Standard. I know that, like, I know that I'm probably going to play, like, 70 of the 75 cards I play in Death Shadow. Let's 
going through this turn. I just need to find a standard deck that I like. I would like to play a Niv deck. Yeah, we're just going to let that go. We're not going to fire off this Clarion yet because we want to be able to keep up double land. What else is that pitching? We want to be able to keep up mana for Vivian. All right, well now, we should just be mana efficient. Though that can hit a Doom Whisperer. We take a bit of damage here, but we're gonna take seven next turn. I'm trying to land makes me a little nervous. Wish I had something to do with my mana, because like if we my opponent needs two lands to play Carnage Tyrant. I guess we just yield. Yield through here. Are you qualified for the Envy Teddy? I also should have ionized so that I could go like Deafening Clarion or, or Deafening Clarion plus Negate. Now I've kind of like smacked myself into doing this. Yeah, see, now we're seeing the, the problem that I had with using this instead of the ionize. Yeah, exactly. Because I wanted to be able to counter, um, counter this last turn, and I could afford to take some damage. All right, well, Star of Extinction is at least going to get me going a little bit, but I can't, I don't have a play, unfortunately. Or wanted to get like one more creature. But I messed up. Like I could have countered this by the sequence better. Yep, there's the Carney boy. And we're just dead. Yeah, we're dead. No, and I punted. Like, I should have ionized the duress so that I could go Clarion plus negate this. And I would have been, I would have just been in it longer. I could have jammed, I guess I couldn't have jammed my Drake because I didn't have necessary mana. But we're back on the play. So our counter spells get a little better. I don't really want this lava coil in the play. I think I just want one more counter spell. Like this is Wild Growth Walker. I guess we'll go like this. Justice Strike hits Doom Whisperer. This hits Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, let's just go like this. <clears throat> I asked if you were queued for it, Teddy. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. We don't have a way to, like, pull ahead, you know, but hopefully we can curve into this and then get ahead of a Vivian with the ionize. Yield until next time step. Yeah, I remember you saying, I remember you, you told me you didn't go to too, too many of them. All right, Nova's nice. We should curve out here. So let's just show some weakness, but whatever. I 
Now, the only thing, I'm, I might use this Ionize on a Doom Whisperer, but besides that, that's, the Ionize is pretty much safe for Find and Vivian. Because we have creatures really covered. Assassin's Trophy. They kept, they kept Trophy. Okay. That is A-OK. -okay. So I'm just going to jam this Crackling Drake into my opponent next turn. And if they trophy it, those are just, they're just going to ramp us. Do you have me don't play a basic planes to get to set this up? Is everybody excited for Thanksgiving tomorrow? I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, that's okay. Frask is contempt. Oh, they did that too. They must be short on lands. All right, let's just draw cards. This gets trophied. Okay, we can wrap the board next turn. We're a bit soft of Vivian if we wrap the board. Cheaps. Okay. We probably have to wrath because we have this Star of Extinction. Yeah. I could go search. This is 369. I would go to 1. I go to 1. But I would have a search for his Canton in play. If they blow it up, it just gets us the Star of Extinction. I'm not really worried about Carnage Tyrant. I just want to hit my land drops. I think I'm just going to go like this. Hold up a Counterspell for a Planeswalker. Go to one, Wrath the board next turn. I think we're okay. I don't know. I, I might be, you know, thinking too much into it, but a Drake would have been nice. So what is this? My opponent's got another Assassin's Trophy, so they're likely going to ditch that. So they keep it. Okay, so they have a trophy and they're drawing trophy. Just want to hit land drops. <clears throat> if they land a carnage tyrant here, we've got that covered. We have Vivian Reed covered. I hit my search, sad. Now I can play Crackling Drake, maybe with a counter spell out. I think I'm going to play the Drake because it pretty much makes my opponent uh, use a trophy on it. And we might just hit a land drop here. No, we hit it to Fairy, which is nice. So opponent's got double trophy. Okay, so we took a land. That card's annoying. That card is very annoying. My best play is probably to play Teferi and tuck it. <clears throat> I could also just star. Two, three, four, five, six, 
like star hit this they don't draw a card they have two assassins trophies and something they got like just starring Uh, I should attack first. Let's not be stupid here. Um, yeah, attack first. It took me a second there. If yeah, they trophy this, then, like, deal. Oh, it even counts itself. Forgot it counted itself. Carnage Tyrant. Destroy all creatures. They still have double trophy. As long as we don't get Carnage Tyrant again. One, two, three, four, five, up. Yeah, we're just going to counter this, I think. We're going to counter this so that we can go up with Teferi into Chemistry's Insight after they, um, after they trophy us. That Clarion is nice. Yep, you got it, dude. Get an island. Okay. So now we're going to start burying them in cards. We just need to not lose to Carnage Tyrant at this point. That is not good either. All right, we can hit it with Teferi now. Yeah, every creature is lethal, but... Okay, nice. And we can Insight as well. The last card's trophy. We still have double Clarion, so we can answer, um, we can answer like, um, what was I going to say? We can answer a Carnage Tyrant. The Doom Whisperer is going to come back. It's not this card. Yeah, we do need a Niv. Like, Niv will, Niv will lock this game up. But, find Carnage Tyrant, Jade Light Ranger. Okay. So, they play Jade Light Ranger, we just bounce it with Teferi. I think. Unless we find another way to deal with this. So, ditch this. Or, like, ditch the Doom Whisper. So you have Land Carnage Tyrant. That's odd. Okay, so now we have Expansion. Alright, we should be doing good now. 
play this, take up, target creature deals damage itself equal to its power. No, I shouldn't do this because I'm going to have to wipe the Carnage Tower next turn. I should just do this now, though. No sense in getting cute. <clears throat> We have insights in my graveyard, but I don't really know what I want to uh, what I want to ditch to them. I kind of want all my cards, like even the Crackling Drake. I want. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I can still just go Clarion. Clarion. Mana still works out. Then. Play Crackling Drake, untap, have eye and eyes, and then have enough to kill them with Expansion Explosion next turn. Then we should be good. I'm really happy how I navigated this game. Very happy with this one. Yeah, and that's just lethal on its own. Because deal two damage, nugs them, pumps the Drake. All right, you're just dead to the Drake. Yep, there we go. That one felt good. That one felt good. I want to take this really cute picture of my dog. I took this with my dog earlier today. He was just checking me out. I love Phil. I'm very sad. He's having some health problems right now. I'm not really sure what's going on. He's had a limp kind of for a while, and it's been from different legs. And um, <clears throat> um, and we just took him to – it's been in different legs. It usually was in the front. Now it's in his back one. And we just took him to the vet, and we got his x-rays done, and his x-rays showed all of his bones were all set. These links are not sketchy. I promise you, Teddy, you will not get a virus from this link. If you get a virus in your computer, then you, you need to look, you need to be checking out what's going on. All right, Sam's a heater. But yeah, he's just been like, he's just been physically struggling and it's, it's, t it's a little tough to watch sometimes. Bums me out. <clears throat> I got 50 virus lights up to open one of these, Dylan. I'm going to call fake news. What is going on? They're still tanging on a mulligan or not? Slow and steady wins the race. I'm going to turn on some tea water after this. It's all my fault. <clears throat> Play this land because it, it gives away a little less. Like maybe they make maybe they think I'm the Drake deck. 
All right, so we're playing against an aggro deck. And we're lucky to be able to get this search down while not being under any pressure. Like, we actually might be able to get to ionize something this game. All right, that's going to get seal away more than likely, but I might shock myself. No. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play this. I might take two damage from this to counter a... Uh, to counter a history of Vanellia. I think I'm just going to take this shot. And then just seal away, seal away it to get a history out of the way. Uh, we're going to deal with that as well. So we're playing the, this is Boros Angels. That's, that's nice. Might as well just counter this and use our mana. Yeah, we'll toss that in the graveyard. So we can play Crackling Drake, which I kind of like better than... It means they have to use a removal spell to get through it. And if they use a removal spell, they're not adding to the battlefield. And it lets us, gives us the best chance to play Teferi. And even if they use a removal spell like a Conclave Tribunal, we can just nug the Conclave Tribunal, get our Drake back, and draw another card. All right, we're doing Phoenix. A little annoying, but we have a seal away for it. Really need a land. We don't really need I mean, we do need lands. Yeah, we don't need a hero. Nice. So we're just going to play to fairy plus this one and this one. Both of these are going at me. Okay. Hit this. They have a removal spell for their own Phoenix, and I'll just nugget with Teferi probably. It's such an annoying card that I'd like to just deal with it permanently. <clears throat> Lira. Okay. So I hit that. Um, I really don't want to get my thing Ixalan's binding, but we have Teferi that we're going to be able to finagle for that, so I'm just going to jam this. This is just gonna win me the game next turn. I'm gonna keep my Teferi. I'm not gonna attack because I want to keep my Teferi around. The last thing I'm gonna do is attack with Crackling Drake because I'm binding my Niv and then kill my Teferi as well. What is this? Six minutes? It's like a Bane Fire. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, I'm gonna shoot this. Make them pay for life. Oh, they just took it. Okay. No, we want that. Let's play Niv. Red, uh, blue. Red, 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 blue, blue. Because this makes the, the Teferi pings. And we're likely going to win this game next turn with an expansion. Or an explosion, whatever you want to call it.
into Fruit Bowl 5 is Lyra. Oh, it's another Rainfire. Okay. We're just not going to win you the game, my friend. It's for 7. What are we doing? We're hitting this for 6. Okay. I'm going to opt, because opt deals 2 damage. On top, I guess I'll opt again. Almost dead as a doorknob, because Niv is just messed up. Like Niv is just not a is not a reasonable magic card. It's just good everywhere. If you can stabilize. Like it's good against the aggro decks, it's good against the control decks. It struggles a little bit against black green, but if you want to beat black green, then you just play dive down, I think. I think you already beat black green. Like Niv isn't the best there, I guess. Begin supplementary. So seal away likely great. Ixlon's binding is likely great. Lyra is probably pretty good, and Invoke's good. I'm not sure our sweepers are that great. These probably aren't that good. I'm gonna assume these counter spells are fine. They might be great on the draw. Maybe I'll just board out my counter spells. Like, cut this, cut this, cut this, and then bring in two Novas. And just be like, mono removal. I have to make sure to protect my light totals. We saw two Banefires in their main deck. And yeah, it's a good way to lose, to get Banefire out of this game. Yeah, I'm going to go like this. We're going to try this. On the draw, I might bring in more counter spells. I do like, I really like playing these control decks. Like, I'm not, like, I usually don't play them when, like, the money's on the line, but, because I'm not super great at them, but I do just, they do just make fun games. A lot of decisions, a lot going on. I always have fun doing it. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep the same. We just have a boatload of removal. We have an opt. We're on the draw. We have a lot of expensive cards, but the one piece of removal might help us get there. Opponent will to four. Jeez, that's tough. We just want to hit land drops. Definitely clear on. If we're not going to hit land, definitely clear on is the next, the next best thing. I thought it was like one land, no land, no land for their keep, which sucks. I wonder how many lands this deck plays. Probably plays a lot. Like 23, 24. Right, the angel is good. Oh, I meant to hit that. Uh, what can they play? Are we Kindling Phoenix? That doesn't do anything for the Deafening Clarion. I'm just going to deal with this. I meant to opt. I guess I hit. Yield through turn, not yield until next end step. An accident there. I would have typed Slizzard. My opponent's not being like super salty though. It's not like they're being mean. We don't need another one of those. We just need lands. We hit lands. Um. Depending on what my opponent does here, I might go to Fairy Tuck. I would like to play Lyra 
in like a stable board position, or, uh, like a, a place where they don't have a lot of resources. And they can't just binding it. If I hit a no. Yeah, we're just gonna go to. Now the problem is that if I go to fairy down, they have a binding that kind of sucks. They have to have binding though. We have bindings of our own and invoke the divine to deal with that. <laughs> Next turn we can play Niv <coughs> or Lyra. Okay, the head binding. So now I just want to jam this. Because like Niv is also Niv is very good, but Lyra is just going to put the game out of reach with gaining so much life. Alright, you got it. So now we've officially exhausted all of the resources. We've landed a Niv. We can actually kill the Phoenix if we want to. I'm gonna respond to this. I should have I should have like upkeep justice strike this, but I didn't. Because then I could have killed this and killed it on the draw, which would have been the proper way to do it. Yep. Oh, we can actually do a really cool thing where we just destroy all of the... Uh, we're just going to do that, too. Yeah, this is pretty savage. Yeah, why would you... Why would you... <laughs> Why would you subject yourself to that? I put a mulligan, which sucked, but. Alright, two and one. After a rough first game, we're back on the leaderboard, which is nice. I hope everyone has good uh, Turkey Day plans. I am excited. I love Thanksgiving. I love the food. I love, foot I love watching the football with people. Like. Big Thanksgiving fan. My wife put a lot of effort today into Thanksgiving. Uh, cooked some food here. I helped her a little bit, but she did most of the stuff. She, she's she been cooking since like 1, and she, I think she finished up around 7. I got home from work about 3, uh, probably 4.30 with the turkey. Keep this. we got to hit lands. Like if we can curve into Crackling Drake, we should be all set. <clears throat> Nothing relevant going on for me. What are you at school, Teddy? Okay, playing against Drake, so we gotta we gotta play it here. Uh, I yield for this turn. Oh, you're in Canada. There, the unseen. Mm -hmm. I used to uh, go to school in Potsdam, New York, which was about, I don't know, I think it was about, uh, I think they said it was about an hour and a half from Ottawa. So I think I'm the beat down in this matchup. I, mean, I think I have to like try to just curve out and out card, qual out card quality my opponent. Oh, yeah. Yep, it was only where I went to college. It was only about an hour and a half from Ottawa. Here we 
are trying to hold up here. We'll play this. So we're curving out, which is nice. Yeah, I've been to Ottawa before. Gonna be pretty liberal with this counter spell because I'm just gonna try to tap out all the way up the curve here. Sulfur Falls. Just jam. I don't know. I was in upstate New York and that was pretty cold. <laughs> So you can go nuts with an Electromancer here. We've seen these Enigma Drakes. Enigma Drake is very good in the mirror. Like if you're playing, regardless of what version you're playing, if you're playing Drakes, you should be playing Enigma Drake. Because people are cutting their lava coils to be able to handle handle like you know Doom Whisperers. And the Enigma Drakes, just no one ever kills them. God, please just hit this so I can play Teferi on an open board. I can play Teferi on an open board. That's such gas. I think I'm going to hold my Drake back. Because, like, if I just keep Teferi... That's why I like... I mean, I like this version of this deck because it's just a Jun deck. Like, it's just, like, a good cards deck. It's not Drago. Yeah, we got the power couple of Niv and Teferi coming up here. Yeah, dude, crack it up. I could tuck that, but... I might tuck it now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to chump and tuck it. Two damage, trade. Now I have another Teferi. Now yeah, let's just tuck it. Let's be adults. And then next turn, we can like deal three damage to something. Maximum velocity is going to complicate things a little bit. But like for them to play their game, they're going to have to draw. They're going to have to give us so many cards. Electromancer. Lava Coil Nib, sure. I got bad news for you, buddy. Unless this is like shock into they already played their land, so unless they play like Electromancer to maximize velocity. Oh man, we have an ionize next turn as well. This Drake deck like it doesn't play any counter spells. I guess if they go opt into Charter Course, they can ditch a Phoenix and kill my Teferi. Don't do it. I mean, they're due. So we know they have the Drake now. Wow, that's, that was pretty lucky. Blue. This is where, like, these Drake decks. This is what I feel like if you're not, like, a super aggressive version of Drake's, then I feel like you could just get beat up by the other Nib decks. But that being said, we lost to a Drake deck in round one. And I don't know if that's because we had a fumbly draw 
or I'm not sure. I'm going to be pretty conservative with this counter spells, but I'm going to be more conservative, I guess, if they had a creature in play or if I was countering a creature. Nugum. All right, game. I don't really know what the sideboard against this deck. We didn't see an Electromancer, but there's all Electromancer cantrips. But they have Enigma Drakes. So maybe we just sideboard, like, not even worrying about Electromancer. I can just cut my Justice Strikes because they're not that good. Bring in Seal Away, Lyra, Binding, Binding. Cut our Clarions. Bring in this. And one more neg negate should be good after sideboard. And if you can like tag a, you know, especially if you can tag a whatever it is after sideboard, a, um, gosh, I can't think. What's the card that's good that they play? A tormenting voice of sideboard, and you usually get a lot of value of that. We'll be right back. I kept the expansion because it's a way to go over the top and also just countering a spell is probably is not bad seal away is nice the search on two is going to be nice it's going to help sculpt our, sculpt our game plan get us hopefully to this Teferi oh is that Electromancer alright Hopefully we can just overpower this thing, but it's not going to be easy. Just a Drake? Okay. The attack, I'm just going to snap, seal away this thing. Then I'll figure this thing, this Drake out later. Um, no, I think we're just going to draw that. Get this thing out of here. Play a tap land. Hopefully they'll play a crackling drake. Hopefully they kind of just spin their wheels here, cantripping. Crackling drake would not be great. Another electromancer, okay. Okay. I'm probably gonna fire off this expansion as soon as I as soon as I can. I need to keep the cards coming. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this Teferi. Okay. I'd like to hit something juicier than an opt. If I had a tormenting voice, that'd be sweet, because then I don't have to use the mana there. Uh, I don't play Arena. I've, I've got a sponsorship through the Card Hoarder Network, and I just they loan me the cards to stream with. So I really have not gotten into Arena. Just because I'm pretty set up here. Yes, we don't need that. Could jam, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, card order is card order is great. I think we're just gonna go opt into insight. Next turn maybe I can expansion an electromancer or tuck this Drake. We're gonna do this right now though, because we might hit a seal away. Put on the bottom. Alright, lava coil's nice. Let's 
So let's do this. I'm gonna ditch my steam vents. Nice. I don't think we have time for that. Let's get this off the board. I'm going to save this seal away, I think. For like a Niv or another Drake. I'd like to be able to keep my counter spell up here in case my opponent jams out a Rao or another. All right, so ditching a Phoenix, which is a little scary, but. Yeah, I love Card Hoarder. Card Hoarder, like, they do a lot. Like, they used to have an awesome podcast that unfortunately ended, which made me sad, but the Phoenix is likely coming back this turn. So we'll deal with the Phoenix. Hopefully they tap out. Then we can Teferi minus on this. But yeah, Card Hoarder is great. Don't have any blue. So if they were going to deal with this, it would be a shock. Oh, all right, we're going to pass here, and then we're going to take this, get this in the upkeep at the end of their turn, so we can play Teferi on an open board, and have Ionize up, which is going to be pretty nice. We're still a little naked to Niv, but... We hit play to fairy. <clears throat> really looking for like a binding for that. So now I'm going to hold my Niv. I want to hold this explosion too because this explosion is going to deal twice as much damage and draw one more card with Niv in play. Uh, I should fix my camera if I'm going to sit down this far. Wow, no plays from our opponent. Okay. Search is going to flip too, which is nice. All right, well, we're just going to play Niv. Play Niv, take up to Ping. Blink that. Just counterspell this. I guess I didn't even need to do that because I could just kill it with an opt, which is what I'm going to do. That was stupid. Yeah, that was stupid of me to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to kill this with an op at the other end step. Yeah, I should have just saved my counter spell. Because the same thing happened. If they negate this, then I still draw a card, draw a card. <clears throat> Rao would be annoying, but because Rao would kill Teferi or kill Niv. <clears throat> Speaking bowl, you got it. 
You got it. One crackly boy. We can fight over it too with a counter spell if we need to. Play this just so we can have the most mana possible so that we can. This Kanta as well. This game should be pretty well wrapped up. Keep my clock in play. Ionize. Yeah, I know the game's over because just with Teferi drawing two and maybe three cards a turn with search, there's not really a lot my opponent can do. Look at this. We're going to be playing for the 4 1. Pretty hyped up here. <clears throat> Hopefully, we can get this. Then we're going to go over and play some Drakes. And if I'm feeling wily, we'll play Death Shadow. But not super sure if that's going to happen. I'm taking my dog out in between leagues as well. Uh, his hand's a little bit of a sketcher, but we're on the play. So we hit, like, we can, we might not get as buried being on the play versus the draw. Playing against Drake's again. So hopefully we just need to curve out. We gotta hit our lands here. Oh, playing the mirror. Okay. I'm probably gonna get worked here. I'm not gonna get worked if I just draw lands. Because double nib, double to fairy. That's where a guy wants to be. We're in trouble now. I would have just, if I had drawn a land there, I would have just jammed the Drake. Because, like, we just need to jam all the way up. Treasure maps. This is Adrian Sullivan's list, so we're we're in a lot of trouble here. This list is just very good in the mirror. No. Is sink a bait? No. Oh, God, it's so bad. They only play like one. Now you get to play a Teferi on an open board, which is not good for us. God, we're just like blue red control over here. They didn't do anything. They didn't even activate their treasure map. I guess they must have a Teferi. They wanted to have a chance to just jam it. Hmm. I don't know if we hit a land, we can just slam a Niv. Oh. This is, game is odd. But at least I can counter a Teferi. I think I can just flip this treasure map and then just jam Niv down my throat. And if I don't hit a land to bounce it, then I'm just like in so much trouble. Okay, we need a land. 
We land really bad. All right. Now we need a white land. Because even if they play a Niv, then we can go white land to fairy tuck it. Which is exactly what they're doing. Okay, white land to fairy tuck. Come on. Okay, so I guess. We cast this Chemist's Insight because there's a chance that we kill their Teferi or kill their Niv. Just because we're going to be ahead here, like four points to two points. Like if we hit an Opt, then we kill their Niv. Okay, so we do get to kill them, which is nice. Send the rest of these upstairs. Now we can opt and look for another land, because opt also kills Teferi, or it kills Niv. Oh, it doesn't necessarily kill him. Oh, shoot, because I targeted one there. That was a punt. Oh, I messed up. Come on, give me a land. Uh, I guess we have to keep this so that we can shoot this thing. I definitely messed this up because I could I could have gotten one more damage on them. Also, yeah, I just I did not do this very well. You do draw a card, yes. So this goes up here. My opponent should be at one less life total, which matters. Okay, so let's just ditch. Should we let the cat out of the bag? Don't think so. I think we're gonna ditch a nib because we have two. This is like a deafening clarion. Okay. There's, all right, that explosion is likely gonna win me the game. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Not quite, I guess. But I can just play another Niv. Red, blue. Just play another one. And if we get to untap, the game's over. They have to kill this thing on the spot in order to have a shot. I don't see how they do that. And then with like this expansion explosion, we should be able to. We we have a lot of ways to win next turn. For sure. I'm gonna ditch this definitely clearing on here. Um, yeah, let's ditch the Clarion. I guess we should have kept, nah, maybe I should have ditched the Death Star because the Clarion gives lifelink. Let's 
very nice to pick up game one against this deck. Like this deck is pretty ahead in the mirror. Nice. Okay. So these Clarions can come out. We want the expansion. We want Lyra. We want Sinister Sabotage. Uh, this. We don't want these. This is fine. Binding is fine. Probably Invoke is good too. So on the draw, I don't know if I want all my counter spells on the draw because like Niv just invalidates counter spells. So I could see shaving here. Maybe shaving here as well. Um I don't keep all my drakes, keep my expansion. I'm actually going to shave one more counter spell. I think that the counter spells are kind of like, especially when we have expansion in the deck, I think the counter spells after sideboard. Um, I, I don't think we could have killed them there, Tannen, but in combination with the expansion and explosion next turn, we would have killed them for sure. Like, I definitely, on the turn that we both nibbed each other and I was going off, I definitely missed sequence and could have gotten him one more damage. Which one more damage would have likely killed my opponent. But I'm not, I'm not sure right there if we could or not. I will keep. Hopefully we just slam this war boss and just win the game. Because my opponent's deck is, like the Adrian Sullivan version is better than my Zimit. They rolled a five, jeez. Okay. Start off here. They were at four, so we could have fireballed them. Didn't they get to four tannin after we did all of our like um like they got to four after we did all of our stuff? Like after we hit um traded off with their niv. I really don't want to jam this Legion War Boss into a syncopate. I do want that though. I'm not gonna do it. But we we obviously could have fireballed them when we untapped though. Unless you're saying unless if I had the fireball in my hand the turn they tapped out, then maybe I messed up. Because I could just I I have a niv they have a niv I just fireball them and deal them like seventy eight damage. Speaking of dealing someone seventy eight damage, which if I did that it's likely a pun. Always yield the wannabe rabble master. <coughs> I mean, they were, oh, no, yeah, they were dead. Because even if they deal with my Niv, they have to tap so low that we just, yeah, we just expansion them the turn after. What a jerk. They saw our trick coming. Little beats by 1-1. One, one. This is where I'm nervous, because, I mean, at least we have the binding. And at the rate this is going, we're going to be able to go Binding plus Counterspell. I don't really think there's anything I could imagine countering here. Huh. I think I'm going to counter this. I, could, I just said I don't think there's anything I can imagine countering, but this treasure map is going to dig him out of this hole. And with the expansion, nugging him for two. I don't know. I'd like to keep them. Like, I don't think, I think it's a pipe dream to think the expansion is going to actually kill them. I'm going to opt on my turn because if I hit it to fairy, I'm just going to slam it. And not ex like expansion. Jeez. That's how we do it. How's your dinner, Tannen? I saw you said you were going out earlier. 
a little before Thanksgiving goodness. <clears throat> Yield until next end step. <sighs> Looks like we're going to 4 1 with this deck, which I'm a little excited about. I believe we're just counterspell now. Um, second Teferi can't be bad. Like, it's kind of an insurance policy. opt here for a Niv. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That works as well. So let's put that on top. <laughs> now we're just kind of chugging along. Just want to keep pressing our advantage. I thought it plays their own Teferi. It's kind of annoying. Binding, rude. I'm just going to binding their binding, I think. I think I can outpace a Niv as long as I'm drawing cards with both Search and Teferi. I have another binding in my deck. I could Explosion for two. But that seems kind of mopey. Hmm. No, let's just keep drawing. Let's keep hitting our land drops. Ooh, my birthday present, my iPad mini got stolen. Oh, that's awesome. I feel that sucks that that happened. Excellent binding, please let me play. Okay, so we can take their binding. Okay, they scoop it up. All right, nice. So let's get back into our extensions here. Get ready for the next league. So let's fix my cardboard live here. All right, we hit the 4 1. Let's hit back to the deck. Uh, clear your deck and start over. We just upload a deck list, and then we're going to talk about the deck. No electro drakes. Okay, so I like this deck. It's kind of felt more like a Jun deck than anything else because you're just like, aside of these cards here, you just want to get to four and then go tap out, tap out, tap out. I think that maybe you want a 26th land in the deck. 25 felt a little light, or maybe 25 with three searches. But I don't know what to take. This is just Zach's deck, card for card. But I was impressed. I liked it. It's been my favorite iteration of this deck so far.